Hopes were high that Black Friday would see shoppers holding their wallets wide open. But that wasn't the case. According to the National Retail Federation, though this year saw more people in the shops and visiting websites over Thanksgiving weekend, they spent nearly 8 percent less per person compared to last year. Consumer anthropologist Robbie Blinkoff says Black Friday has reached a critical turning point in American culture. American consumers are not spending like they once did, and Blinkoff argues Black Friday may eventually fade into obscurity. Well, made in China products may be cheap compared with the equivalents manufactured in the West, but when money is tight, people get more selective and many non-essential items are cut out. Well, that may be good for their wallets, but it's a major blow for many Chinese industries. China is the world's largest exporter of Christmas gifts, with the U.S. and European markets accounting for 70 percent of China's total sales. But in the wake of the recession, thousands of factories found themselves on the brink of bankruptcy. Some were able to keep their head above water over the past year, but according to custom officials, over half of the toy exporters in Guangdong province, the heart of China's manufacturing industry, have gone out of business since the beginning of 2008. Summer and autumn are usually the busiest months for workers in the southern city of Tungguan. But this year, many foreign retailers delayed placing their Christmas orders until September. Exports to America across the board dropped almost 17 percent in the first nine months of the year compared with a year earlier. That's about a $32 billion difference. Realizing that they can no longer depend on American consumers, many factories here have had no choice but to switch their attention to the domestic market. My factory is mainly involved in export, as well as a little domestic business. But this year, we are doing more domestic business because the export business has not been very good. Thousands of factories are also taking the same approach in order to break their dependence on exports. The toy business is better inside China and the mask orders are up. That's because a lot of Chinese companies are promoting themselves and selling more products. They use toys as gifts to their customers or as a company mascot. The ability to adapt to the changing economic climate is one of the keys to surviving amidst the fierce competition. Some businesses say they're targeting emerging markets such as Latin America to make up for the loss in U.S. and European orders. Others have dropped their prices or now use cheaper materials to stay competitive. But some remain pessimistic, with exhibitors at the recent Canton Fair saying they doubt things will return to the way they were for another four to five years. That could be true given the fact that Americans are now more careful when it comes to spending. According to a recent survey carried out by the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, the thing most Americans want for Christmas is having less debt. The survey shows the majority of respondents place paying off debt and padding their saving accounts ahead of spending money on gifts this holiday season. And with some predicting a repeat of last year, which is the worst holiday season for retailers in almost four decades, Chinese exporters will be left longing for the time when Americans celebrated the holiday season with more than just goodwill. Sylvia Gunawan, BON.